Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to move to step number three. And step number three is where we add some devices to visualize the flow. We're going to add a volume flow device and a vector slice as well to look at the flow moving through the doorway. So hit control C to stop the simulation. And if I go back to my uh, input file, I'm going to add a line for a slice file, PBX equal to 2.6, which is the middle of the room. And I'm going to set the quantity to velocity. And I'm also going to set vector equal to period, true period. And so what that's going to do is give me little vectors in that slice region to show me the direction and magnitude flow. Uh, I want to add one more device, uh, which is really useful for these cases. And it's going to allow me to check the volume flow in the output uh, CSV file to make sure that the volumetric flow rate is what it should be. So I'm going to set a device at the same dimensions as two lines up, the obstruction. So it's going to be a plane, so 2.1, 3.1, 1.8, 2.8, and on the Z dimension 2.4 to 2.4. And what this is going to do is I'm going to set this to quantity equals volume flow, and this is going to give me a nice integrated quantity over that area and it's going to show me the volumetric flow rate in meter cubes or cubic meter per second uh, that's flowing through that area so it's a really nice way to check to make sure that my fan is uh, behaving as it should and giving me the volume flow rate uh, that I want so that's that's it for uh, step three and we'll do a file save and the last thing I want to do uh, in step four and we'll look at those visualizations after we complete step four the last thing I want to do is, let's say I don't want the fan to be active right at the beginning of the simulation, but rather activate either some time in or when some condition is met at a device. So I want to add in a heat detector to activate the hole and the fan after some conditions are met. So go down a couple of lines, and I want to add in a device um, ID, I'll call it a heat detector, and... I'll set the prop property ID to heat, and I'll set the XYZ, which is the location, and I want to set this so that it's over the fire on the couch so it warms up really quick uh, just for demonstration purposes. So 2.6, uh, 4.0 is near that back wall, and then 2.1 is just below the ceiling, and I also need to add in a prop line with an ID uh, that matches the prop ID on the previous line. So heat uh, quantity equals link, oops, link temperature, and should be single quote there, temperature, and uh, RTI is a response time index. I'm going to set this really low for now, uh, again, just so I can get quick activation of that heat detector. And then I'll set the activation temperature to 30 degrees Celsius. Again, a very low temperature for a heat detector, but I wanted to activate quickly for this demonstration. Um, so I have a device and property, and it's a heat detector, but I need to link the fan and the obstruction uh, to that device. So if I go up a few lines here, I see that I have my obstruction here, and I also have my surface here. So if I set these, such that the device ID is heat detector. I'll actually wait for this device to activate before creating this obstruction. And I'm going to put one more of these for the hole in the roof. So I have placed device ID heat detector on the hole and on the obstruction. And so that should delay the activation of the fan until these conditions for the heat detector are met which is this activation temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. So, if I save that and give it a run, and FDS will start running here in a second, and so I'm gonna let this run to about 10 or 15 seconds uh, to where I get to see uh, that device activate. So, I'm gonna pause the video now while this runs through for a few minutes, and I'll come back and show the visualization as well as the activation of the fan and hole 
after the heat detector activates. Okay, so I've let the simulation run for uh, just past 10 seconds of simulation time. So I'm going to go ahead and terminate uh, this simulation. And so if we open this up in smoke view, uh, well, before I do that, there is one small change that I made to the input file while the video was paused. Uh, I did move the heat detector up to 2.3 in the Z dimension instead of 2.1, just so it would heat up faster and uh, I didn't have to wait uh, too long to get uh, simulation results. So, with the heat detector a little bit higher and the same case as before, if I open up smoke view, I see my heat detector placed here. And so if I load um, 3D smoke soot, I see the plume heats up the heat detector. And at about 9 seconds, the vent is activated. The hole in the vent are activated. So it's before and 9 seconds. So you can see the vent opening up there and beginning to eject smoke. And so if I load a vector slice that I put in uh, for the velocity here, I, I can hit A a few times to enlarge those arrows. So if I fast forward here to the end, I see the vent opening around 9 seconds. And I see the vectors pointing upward as if they're ejecting uh, hot so soot and gases out of the ceiling there. So there I have a smoke control system, a simple one. I could add multiple vents. Um, I could add a timer instead of a uh, heat detector. I could add a smoke detector. Uh, very flexible. And the last thing I want to show is in the device file. So if I open up the device file, I see I have a column for uh, cubic meters per second and also the heat detector. So I see the heat detector heat up to, let me change the format of this. See the heat detector heat up to about 30 degrees Celsius at 9 seconds. And then I also see here, this is actually the flow rate through that integrated device I showed you. So at 9 seconds, you see it hits 1 meter per second, 1 meter per second, and kind of fluctuates around there. Uh, but it is uh, trying to keep the mass flow rate at, or rather the volume flow rate, at 1 cubic meter per second. So it's a nice way to plot uh, my fan flow rate and make sure that it is behaving as I wanted. Uh, the last thing I'll mention is that uh, when you do open up fans and vents like this, uh, you do have to be careful of numerical instability. Uh, which happens when you get extremely high velocities uh, that may be non-physical. The code may stop with the error numerical instability. And to mitigate that, uh, it dumps out a plot3d file that you can get to in the load unload menu. I don't have one right now because that crash didn't occur. But I can look at the plot3d file and see if, in fact, that's where high velocities are occurring. And if so, I could look at a fan ramp or I could look at a different way to model that that wouldn't uh, result in such a high pressure differential. Uh, between the inside and the outside. But hopefully you find that helpful. And we looked at uh, four steps, extending the domain upwards, adding a hole in the roof, adding a fan and obstruction with Ops and Surf, and a porous obstruction. We added a couple of devices to visualize and uh, quantitate and quantify the flow uh, going through the fan. And we also added the heat detector as a control to activate the hole in the fan.